Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh We are from Class A Foundation and Functional Grammar And we are here to explain about thematic progression I am the first presenter and I will explain about the definition and function of thematic progression Definition Thematic progression is a way of developing themes and rim in clauses In other words, thematic progression is a strategy or a specific way to make writing more effective Thus, the application of an analysis using thematic progression patterns can reveal absurd patterns in a text. It means when we find an absurd pattern in our text, we can analyze it with thematic progression. The function of thematic progression Thematic progression has been done for many purposes. They are First, Thematic progression denotes the strategies available to writers for linking the themes and rhymes in a clause to those of surrounding clauses. Artinya, thematic progression menunjukkan strategi yang tersedia untuk penulis untuk menghubungkan theme, theme and rhyme dalam klausa dengan klausa yang di sekitarnya. Second, thematic progression is a key factor in the structuring of information. This is because it acts as a bridge between sentence level and discourse level, coordinating cohesion and the coherence. Third, to make the writing effective and coherent. Fourth, to create a well-structured text. It means here, thematic progression is not only to analyze a theme and rim, but also uh, for another text, for example, if you want to analyze your uh, descriptive text, you can also use thematic progression to make your text more effective and coherent. That was all for me. The next material is about the types of thematic progression that will be explained by my friend. Alright, so now I want to explain about simple linear progression or zigzag pattern. According to Dance 1974, simple linear progression is where the rim of the first clause become the theme of the second clause. Instead of just repeating the ideas and information in the themes, we can use the information in the new as the next theme. As with repeating the theme, we can repeat the information we take from the new almost exactly or by using a synonym or related idea. In some texts, the reader has picked up the ideas in the new of the preceding sentences and turned them into the themes of the following sentences. Or I mean into the themes of the following sentences. This keeps a very tight thread of ideas running through the next. According to the definition, the first rim, the first rim here, will become a second theme here, because the first theme is here. And this rule also same with the following example below. So let's see. The example here. This is the example. We have three sentences here. The first sentence is poor education is associated with economic disadvantage. Economic disadvantage here is the first rim that will become a second theme here. Economic disadvantage. And the second rim here of opportunities of of opportunities to better themselves will become the third theme here since self betterment so this is something like related idea so i think that's all the simple linear progression the next material will be explained by my partner so that's all from me thank you Hello, I'm Elsa, so now I'm going to explain about constant theme progression. So according to Blur and Blur 2004, in constant uh, progression, the theme of 
one class is shared as the theme of the classes following it. It means that the theme of the whole classes in the passage mentions the same thing and it's taken up from the theme of the previous classes. For example, Laura is able to stand amongst men and challenge them. She is able to do other things that men can do. She had to set conditions for men who were interested in her. So, as you can see here, um, the first class, uh, Laura is able to stand amongst men and challenge them. Laura as a uh, theme one. Next, uh, the second class, she is able to do other things that men can do. She as theme two. And the third class as she had to set conditions for men who were interested in her. And she here as theme as the third team or theme three. So as you can see here, uh, the theme of the three classes is Laura and she in the second theme and third theme as the pronoun of Laura and the thematic progression can be mapped as you can see in the PowerPoint. Hello, my name is Muhammad Aditya Vijaya and I will continue our presentation. In this opportunity, I want to tell to you about the Reef theme. The Reef theme is highlight the one general term from which others themes are the Reef. The particular themes are derived from hyper theme of a paragraph or the other text section. The topic of each sentence are individually different, but all derived from the same operating theme. Okay, this is uh, the structure of how we can know about the riff theme. Okay, theme one, theme one, rim one, until the next theme 10 and rim 10, it must be hyper theme. What is hyper theme? Hyper theme is uh, each sentence must be relate. Uh, about the topic what what we discuss so let's see the example okay you can read the example okay let's break it down you can see uh, the words with underline is a theme and the words after the underlines is a rim. You can see uh, my breakdown. Team one, team two, and team three, and another team is brief description of Ecuador. So the real team is relation of uh, each sentence. It must be related with another sentence. So that is a uh, derive. I think that's all from me. Thank you. Hello, my name is Amelia. So here I want to explain about split rim progression. Returning to the different types of thematic progression, then also includes the progression subtype, which is called split rim, where the rim of a clause contains of two ideas which are developed in subsequent clauses. As you can see in the example, there are three clouds here, so I numbered them as one, two, and three. For the clause one, he also enlists the aid of two able adventures, Alberoni and Riperda. The second clause, or the clause number two, Alberoni, the son of an Italian gardener was successively a cook. And the number three, Riverda, a Dutch business expert and diplomat, ultimately lost the pay for. So, as you can see, in the first class, there are theme and ring. 
theme here is he also enlist the aid of two able ad painters and rim here is a barony and reperda and the explanation but here is cut so in the second clause we can see that second clause is explained about alberoni alberoni the son of an italian gardener and in the third clause is explained about riverda so as you can see in the what is it so as you can see in the pattern alberoni and riverda is the rim of number one clause but in the next clause they are become a theme so theme of the first clause plus rim one plus rim two rim one change to be theme in number two clause and rim two change to be theme in number three clause so uh number two and number three is explained about the rim in the first class okay uh, so that's all for me thank you so thank you for the previous presenter my name is salsa ramadania putriaru i will explain about split team progression split team means that a team may contain more than one idea and these ideas are developed in different subsequent clauses jadi split team ini adalah a team yang dapat berisi lebih dari satu gagasan nah gagasan tersebut dikembangkan dalam klausa berikutnya yang berbeda for the example we can see in the powerpoint we have three clauses the first is the upward movement of wages and the downward price of cereals led blah 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 the second is better wages in both town and countryside enable the population to blah 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 and the last is while the price of wheat fell wine beer oil butter 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 cheese meat fruit and blah 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 Nah, dari ketiga klausa tersebut, klausa kedua dan klausa ketiga adalah split team progression. Nah, mappingnya seperti ini. Uh, the upward movement of wages and the and the downward price of cereals led kita bagi menjadi dua. Yang pertama ada team 1E and the second is team 1EE. Nah, yang tim one the tim one e itu kita jadikan menjadi tim yang kedua karena tim yang pertama uh, wages maka uh, yang tim yang kedua itu uh, timnya wages juga jadi uh, bunyinya bu, uh, klausa yang barunya adalah better wages in both town and countryside yang kedua ada and the downward price of cereals led bla bla bla. Nah, kita namaikan tim 1EE. Nah, maka uh, tim tersebut kita jadikan menjadi tim 3 yang timnya adalah the price of wheat fell. Seperti itu. So, uh, that's all from me and my friends. I hope you all guys understand about the materials. And I'm sorry for our mistakes. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.